In this video, we'll talk about convection, which means, in, in the thermal sense, heat carried by air. Moving air is transferring heat from one place to another, and we'll learn to understand the concept of ventilation and air exchange rate, natural and forced convection, surface convection, and surface resistance. Um, there are three reasons why air is starting to move. One could be in, in building technologies, areas, wind pressure. The wind is moving and, and push a pressure on, on the air and, wind, and, and it starts to move. The stack pressure caused by temperature differences and it's symbolized with the hot air balloon here on the picture. So the hot air is warmer with lower density and it starts to act on, on the air volume and want, we have a buoyancy effect so it wants to, to go upwards. And we have mechanical ventilation symbolized with the fan here in the picture. The most, most common convection uh, phenomena is ventilation. We ventilate our, our buildings in order to have a, a good indoor air quality. Um, we can do it, for instance, by using fans, mechanical fans. In, the, in this case, in the picture, we have an extraction fan that sucks out the indoor air. So this is a kind of a <coughs> convection or ventilation heat loss. And the, the magnitude of the, the, the airflow, we will uh, define it later as an air exchange rate, uh, will cause, if, if they have a higher air exchange rate, it will cause higher heat losses, so convection heat losses, or ventilation heat losses. And of course, with the higher temperature difference between the indoor and outdoor air, the, the heat loss will also be greater. The air exchange rate, N, which, with, with, with uh, the unit 1 per hour, tells how many volumes of indoor air, which is equal to capital V, that flows out from the building per hour. So let's say we have an indoor air volume of 200 cubic meter, and if the ventilation uh, fan extracts 200 <coughs> cubic meter of air during one hour, we will ha have exactly one air exchange rate, an, an air exchange rate of one per hour. If it sucks out 400 cubic meters of air per hour, we have an air exchange rate n equal to two per hour instead. Natural convection at surfaces. On the left-hand side, we see uh, the, the red bar, which symbolizes uh, a warm wall with the temperature T plus, and a warmer wall than the surrounding air, which has this temperature T minus. And when this indoor air or is, comes in contact with the, the hot or the warmer wall, it will get warmer and the density will be lower and will have a lifting force on the warm air. It flows upwards. It picks up heat and it will circulate back to the room. So we'll have a net heat transfer, natural convection heat transfer um, due to this uh, phenomenon. And the magnitude of the heat transfer depends on the geometry, the slope, if it's a vertical or horizontal or another slope of the surfaces. But in general, if we have a higher temperature difference, uh, the heat loss or the heat flow will be greater. We also have the forced convection at surfaces, and in this case, air is forced by wind or, or mechanical devices. So when the air comes, the blue cold air comes in contact with the surface, it will once again pick up heat that will be warmer, warmer, and finally, eventually, uh, receive the same temperature at the surface. And this will represent a uh, heat transfer from the surfaces to, to the air volume. And the greater air velocity and temperature difference, the greater heat transfer we will have. And now we're ready to uh, use, uh, well, introduce the, the concept of surface resistance. Um, in the picture here, the red bar is, is symbolizing a, a wall, for instance. And in order to get heat to um, come from surfaces to the surrounding, 
It can use two phenomena, either long wave radiation or convection at the surfaces. And this can, can be lumped together as a, in, in terms of calculations, the thermal calculation can be lumped together to a, a surface resistance. And on the inside we call it R, SI, or surface interior, and an external one RSE. These are default values, 0.13 uh, square, square meter Kelvin per watt on the inside and 0.04 square meter Kelvin per watt on the outside. Um, the surface resistance is lower on the outside since we have more air movements due to wind, so the convective part of the surface resistance is lower. Summary. Air movements are caused by wind, temperature differences and mechanical devices. The air exchange rate of a ventilated space gives the number of how many times per hour the space air is removed and replaced by outdoor air. Temperature differences between air and surfaces result in a natural convection heat transfer. Flowing air and temperature differences between the air and the surfaces result in forced convection heat transfer. The combined effect of surface convection and long wave radiation exchange between the surface and the surrounding is thermally represented by a surface resistance.